A squat is a vertical down and up movement, which is among the most often used strength exercises for maximal anaerobic power output, strength endurance, and injury prevention of the lower extremities. It involves the coordinated movement in the torso, hips, and knees. However, a squat is not only used for exercising, but also as a clinical test. Based on the parameters derived from the ground reaction force, the dynamics of this elementary movement pattern can be thoroughly studied. Enter the squat test module from the main window by clicking on the squat jump icon. Make sure you have acquired the subject's body weight beforehand. Consistently with the organization of all the MARS test modules, the interface is divided into a left setup panel, a right analysis panel, a bottom measurement panel, and the central signals and results area. Before starting the measurement, appropriate input parameters must be determined in the setup panel. These are lower extremities, where you can choose among bilateral squat, squat on the left leg, or squat on the right leg. And upper extremities, where you can choose among hands positioned on the hips, freely positioned, crossed over the chest, or positioned behind the neck. If an additional load is added to the subject, determine the load from the drop-down menu in the additional weight section. The knee angle in the lowest position is defined under the angle section. You can choose among 90 degrees, 60 degrees, or 30 degrees. To start with a measurement, click on the New Measurement button. After launching the test module and clicking New Measurement, initialization and offset takes place. During this time, the subject should not be on the force plate. If necessary, the measurement mode can be cancelled by pressing the Cancel button. Before starting the measurements, the subject must assume an appropriate initial position, that is, standing without any flexion in the knees and hips and with eyes directed to the front. The goal of the task is to produce fast and powerful vertical down and up movements. Initiate the measurement by clicking the Start button. The end of the task occurs when the subject returns to the initial position the measurement stops automatically after completing the task. It can also be stopped manually by clicking the Stop button in the lower panel. The measurement can be repeated by clicking on New Measurement, thus not saving the previous repetition. If you are satisfied with the measurement, you can save it. The central window displays the ground reaction force signal measured by the force plate. Markers are positioned automatically on the most relevant spots used for analysis. The initiation of the movement, marked by start cursor, is identified by a steep decrease in the ground reaction force profile. The end of the squat is marked by end cursor. The cursors positioned on start, takeoff, and landing can be manually adjusted. Other cursors are adjusted automatically. If again automatic positioning is required, click Analyze, and the cursors will be repositioned according to your settings specifications. If the cursors are repositioned, the new analysis can be saved as a new measurement by pressing Save. The data from the analysis can be viewed under the Results Table tab. The results parameters are divided into three main groups. General parameters. These include different velocity, acceleration, force, power and work parameters. Additionally, Various time profiles and force impulse parameters are calculated. A more thorough description of the parameters can be accessed by right-clicking on the parameter name. Options for displaying specific sets of parameters
can be accessed under the Parameters View menu in the right panel. For more information on this topic, please refer to Tutorial 7.